hello everyone in today's video uh, we are going to discuss in the previous video we are going we have discussed about the amplitude modulation in today's video we are just going to discuss about the angle modulation so angle modulation is basically comprises of two types one is the frequency and the other one is the phase so with respect to the message signal when the frequency or phase of the carrier signal is varied it is called as to be the angle modulation when frequency or phase of the carrier signal is varied with respect to the message signal it is called as the angle modulation so where the amplitude remains constant in both the cases it is called angle modulation so only when the frequency of the carrier is varied with respect to the message signal then it is called frequency modulation when the phase of the carrier signal is varied with respect to the message signal then it is called as the phase modulation so generally the angle modulated wave can be expressed as s of t is equal to ac cos theta i of t so this theta is nothing but the angle modulated wave so angle of the modulated wave either it can be changed with respect to the frequency modulation or it can be changed with respect to the phase modulation so the major advantages of angle modulation are it has a very good noise control or noise immunity power and it has a high efficiency so the power transmitted is also very less but the major disadvantage in this is since the both frequency of the carrier signal has to be varied we are using a complex circuit and the bandwidth is also very high so let's now as i have told you there are two types of angle modulation one is frequency modulation the other one is going to be the phase modulation so when frequency of the carrier signal is varied with respect to the message it is called frequency modulation phase modulation is when the phase of the carrier signal is varied with the message signal it is called the phase modulation so all together both are commonly called as to be the angle modulation so now let's in this video we'll just see what discuss about the phase modulation so the phase modulated wave is usually generated when the message signal or the modulating signal is differentiated and the differentiated modulating signal is passed through a frequency modulator where the carrier signal is given as the input so it will be generating the phase modulated wave so which is called as to be the pm wave so we'll just see it in a descriptive manner so mathematical expression for pm as i've told you for angle modulated wave s of t is equal to ac cos theta i of t where theta i is going to be the angle modulated wave so it can be represented as 2 pi fct plus phi t where this theta is nothing but 2 pi fct plus phi c phi c is going to be the angle which has been varied linearly with the message signal so which is given by kp m of t kp is going to be the phase sensitivity and m of t is going to be the message signal and so now let's substitute this 3 in first equation so ac cos 2 pi fct plus kp vm so this vm cos omega mt is nothing but the message signal or the modulating signal so which is given by vm cos omega mt so this term is called as to be the this term uh, this term is called as to be the phi m this term is called as to be the phi m which is the phase uh, modulation index or phase deviation so this is the modulation index of pm so which is given by the product of or it is directly proportional to the deviation sensitivity and the amplitude of the modulating signal so the modulation index for pm is given by kp into vm kp is nothing but the peak uh, peak phase sensitivity and the amplitude of the modulating signal so this is the pm wave it has been represented so this is a low frequency message signal or the modulating signal and this is a high frequency carrier signal and this is going to be the phase modulated wave where the amplitude remains the constant and the frequency also resembles constant with respect to the message signal um 
only there is a change in your phase so the phase of the carrier signal phase of the carrier signal is varied with respect to the message signal it is called as the phase modulated wave thank you